Hi, my name is Renee. I'm with Hipcrib. We normally sell alternative clothing, accessories, <clears throat> excuse me, and collectibles. But uh, I've been dabbling into a lot of vintage jewelry and buying jewelry lots. And I found some interesting things. I got a lot at Goodwill for some silver. And I think I got a lot of good stuff out of it. Uh, one of the pieces I got was this amethyst. It's like a chunky piece of quartz amethyst. And it came on a silver chain. Very nice. Nice piece. So that'll be up for sale soon. I also got these interesting earrings. They're kind of, uh, I don't know if this is leather or what, but it has some dangle beads on it. They look like they're they're made, handmade, but they're pretty cool. Also sterling, well maybe not sterling on the top, looks like there's a copper ring or some kind of green wire, but uh, that was another one. And then got this really cool moon with a turquoise and a lightning bolt and some little red kind of stone there. Not sure what that is. I don't know if that's real turquoise. But it's a pretty cool moon. That's one of them. So that'll be up for sale soon. Also got this really cool pendant. I forget what this is called. It's a certain kind of stone. Um, has to do with a rainbow. Oh, I can't remember what it's called right now, but um, it's really pretty. It's really different. The pendant's cool. This is also on sterling. Um, different. Very nice. So that'll be up for sale. And if you guys are interested in any of this, you can just ping me at hipcrypt at gmail.com and you find out. It's a sterling sil silver cocopelli pin. I've already poked myself a couple times with this because of the extension of it. It is stamped, although I cannot see what that says, but it is marked sterling silver. Nice little pin. Also got these really cool sterling silver turquoise earrings. These are nice. These are also for sale. These will be up shortly. Also got this cool turquoise cocopelli bracelet. It's for a very small wrist. I think it's very small. I can test it really quick. Based on my measurements, it's about a six, maybe six and a half. It can be adjusted, but it's definitely for a small wrist. And then the piece that really attracted me to this lot was this Jasper Desert Jasper Cabajon on this sterling silver torque. Look at the 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 detail on this torque. I mean, this is just amazing detail. One side's open work, one side's closed, and I mean, you can just see the ornateness of this. It is really, really cool. This one's already up on Etsy. It's up on Poshmark. And I think it's just a stellar piece. I mean, really. It's not marked, but it is sterling. Look at the workmanship on that. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then these I already have up. Uh, I can't find them now. Never mind. But we won't show. But um, also these cute little sterling silver dream catchers. get them out of the bag so we'll skip that one if you saw them and then these are also cute little sterling drops with the turquoise 
These are really cute, still on the card. Then I got this uh, bracelet. I'm not sure what kind of stones they are. It looks like it could be halolite, maybe some lapis, some amethyst, carnelian, tiger's eye, maybe green turquoise, or adventuring or something. But yeah, it's a cool bracelet, also for sale. Also got this really cool moon brooch. It's not signed. It does have some information about the artist or um, artistic design. It looks like it could be some kind of stone or metal, but it's really cool looking. Really cool sun. It's got a nice base. Interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Also got this gem chip bracelet with some stones. Looks like Jasper there too. Some stone chips. Really interesting. Really pretty. But that also is for sale. Also, this really interesting hematite and turquoise brace uh, necklace. Really cool on hematite, very pretty, and a nice piece of turquoise. So that's for sale. And then we got some earrings. These are cool, some inlay design. Need to be polished if you're in that kind of stuff. Oops. But the uh, detail is really cool on it. Looks like it's got some malachite, some mother of pearl, and some lapis. Yeah, very, very cool. Very native. It is marked. So, those are also going up shortly. And the last couple of pieces were just some random things that were in there. This, I think this is a bookmark, and I think this is like white quartz. It's not a bookmark, tell me what this is for, because I have no idea, I thought it was a bookmark. But yeah, it's actually really cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then a little tiny crystal. Crystal pendant. And this really, really cool piece. This is, could be alpaca. I don't think it is. I think it's silver. Old, old silver. It's got these really cool indigenous faces on it. Could be Aztec, could be something else, don't know. It's not marked, and the info, well, it could be marked, but I can't really tell if it is, it's kind of faded. But the unfortunate thing is one of the things broke here. So I'm gonna see if I can get it rep repaired, but I'll probably keep this because it, <laughs> this is just too cool. Like, where do you find something like this? It is just awesome. So this will be, as Gina says, cold dead hands type situation once I get it fixed. And I think besides the tiger's eye, I got a couple pairs of tiger's eye earrings. So those will all be up for sale as well. And then I think there might have been one more piece in there, but that's it. And then to show you some cool stuff that I got, this I got from Adrian, uh, Alamo by Adrian. It's a really cool vintage compact. Um, these things are so old, they're like from the 40s. This is cool, very ornate. It's, they just don't make stuff like this anymore, honestly. And it has like a little kind of 
spider webby design on the front. Maybe this. But man, this is just cool. It's like, what a fancy compact. Yeah, that's cool. So I think that's it for stuff. Eventually I'll start showing you some of the cool things I have in my my jewelry box. I think this is an unsigned Juliana. Not sure. But it could be. And then this little darling here, I believe is uranium glass. Because it glowed like the Dickens when I put a black light on it. So that's really cool and I really like this. Most of these pieces aren't signed. But they're so cool. I mean, really. I just don't make stuff like this anymore. So. Yeah, and I'll be selling some of my Bob Off pieces. Like this bracelet. Vintage Bob Off. It is signed. It is probably a seven. Because, uh, this is made for tiny people. I'm not one of those tiny people. But yeah, look at that. The shine on that is just amazing. Look at that. So yeah, that's a cool piece. So yeah, I'll get into more of that later. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up on my finds and my Goodwill lot. But if you see something you want, you can email us at hipcrypt.com. Or yeah, hipcrypt.com is our main site. Hipcrypt at Gmail is our email. And um, happy hunting. Bye.